We're going to have a little Q&A. And at the risk of sounding redundant, please, make your answers genuine. Death Wish, no? Yep. Yes, got a Death Wish. Here we go. Where were we? Number 10. Why do you think everyone looks down on horror? Some of these retarded critics don't seem to understand it takes a lot of work to make a horror film. Well, from your lips to God's ears, brother, they do not understand how hard it is to make a horror movie. Well, from Kane Hodder, I mean, not Kane Hodder, from Tom Savini's own mouth, he once said, I believe it was Tom Savini, horror is just a little notch above porn. We've said that before on here. And normal society don't want to see all that shit. They don't want to acknowledge that there's killers and people die. They want everything to be Disney. I once had a girl tell me one time, I can't remember who the fuck it was, it was years ago, why, do you, why are you so obsessed with watching movies where people get hurt? That's bad for mankind. I just started laughing my ass off. Couldn't even fucking <laughs> What's it. bad for mankind is ignoring that people get hurt. All right. <coughs> Me and my brother and his friends were in a debate. Were you guys master debating? <laughs> I'm just kidding. They say just kidding. that Hellraiser is a slasher, but I say it isn't. Yes, it has slasher elements, but to me it's more deep than that. Well, Hellraiser 1 and 2, which are just classics. Such an amazing story. Do you consider Hellraiser a slasher? Nope. I yeah, consider I it horror, but it's definitely not. It's not mm -hmm. a stalk and slash. Mm -mm. It, it's, there's just too much more to it. Yep. Religious aspects and angles and stuff yeah, like that. Yeah, I mean, there's the mystical angle, there's the, you know, the like you said, the, the religious, the satanic element. It, it's way too deep just as a, a slasher. Yeah, you know, a slasher. Prowler, Maniac, Halloween, Friday the 13th, Texas Chainsaw, Nightmare on Elm Street, Nightmare, um, Slumber Party Massacre, Hatchet, all of those are stock and slash. Those are slashers, because it's one person up against many. And this Hellraiser uses the forces of hell at his disposal, so yeah, it's way more. If Psycho never happened, do you think Halloween would have? Yes. I yes, do. I do too. Because people have demented minds, and horror yeah. had, horror in general had been around way before Psycho. Mm -hmm. Psycho definitely had an influence, but I don't think it was the main drive, because it, it all started with a, a babysitter killer concept, which really has nothing to do with Psycho, if you think about it. Yeah, and... To God of Death Wish, <clears throat> you message me a message message, not a message under the videos, but message me on the Psychopath channel, and I will give you a book to fucking check out, and it will teach you a lot about slasher films, bro. Yeah, sure, because we are community servants. Yes, we are. It is a... It's, it's, our, it's the cross we bear. This is true. <laughs> All right, here we go. Some more killer questions for that asses. And it's got to be Raider Nation Cali over Hey Yo. Like, like fucking, uh, oh, that's what me and him were talking. Here we Scott go. Scott Hall. <laughs> yep, Scott Hall. Hey Yo. <clears throat> In Saved by the Bell, would you be, rather be Zach Morris or A.C. Slater? Got to pick, pick one. Them. Well, I would rather be Zach Morris. Oh, that ass. Yeah, he had Tiffany's and Ruthie's. So. Yeah. Okay, and on to the next part of the question. <laughs> Out of Kelly, Lisa, and Jesse, who would you go steady with? Who would you Fuck go me. on the side? And who would you make your best bud? Okay, well, I'd go Which steady with... Which one's Lisa? I'd go steady with Kelly. She's the black one, right? Lisa mm -hmm. was the black one? Okay, yeah, that's the I'd one I'd go I'd steady with. with Kelly. I'd... Um, Fuck Lisa on the side. And I'd make Jesse Spano my best friend because she was kind of lesbianish anyway. Yeah. <laughs> what he said. <laughs> that was good. Saved by the Bell old school yeah, stuff that was, there. Yeah, that was some great ones. Here we go. 
All right. Do you guys wear men's fragrances? If so, what's your go-to fragrance and your special occasion out with your women fragrance? I don't know what the hell that is talking about. He's talking about what would you wear to work and what would you wear on a fucking five-star date. Ah, okay. All right. Well, here's a little secret for you guys right here. When you go on a date, put on, you know, your favorite Cologne. <laughs> if your, you will. You do toilet. <laughs> put that on. Uh, but only put it a light base. Then, this is going to be crazy, but take it from the experts. Then, spray on women's perfume on top of it. This is true. Not only does it disarm the girl because there is a feminine... Uh, Scent in the air. Scent in the air, there you go. Aroma, mm -hmm. if you will. But number two, it also puts on the illusion that there may be some competition in which they have to step up their game, if you know what I'm saying, to where they got to get your attention because there could be other contestants. But he wants to know what you wear. He don't want to know your schemes and scams and... That's my scams and filth schemes. Filth, florins and that's, filths. That's my filth, florin, filth. I do the old school Old Spice because it reminds them of their dad. <laughs> and every chick wants to bone someone like their dad. Yeah. So I do the Old Spice base, and then whoever the slut of the week is, Paris Hilton or whatever nasty hoe has their fragrance out, I put that over it, and I'm telling you, got 104 kill count over here, shit works. <laughs> there you go, Raider Nation. Okay. All I gotta say is the daytime go-to fragrance is Dior for men. And the take your lady out on a date is Dolce Gabbana, baby. I got a lot of. There you go. There you go, baby. <laughs> That's how we get down and dirty. That's how we do this shit. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's see. We got uh, RBR Short Films 13. Hope you guys have a great New Year. No, I hope you have a great New Year, man. Yeah. Don't drink and drive either. No. Are you guys a fan of suspense movies? If so, what is your favorite? Uh, hmm. Suspense. I don't know. I'm sure I am. I'm sure, yeah. I'm, hmm. I'm sure I am. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, um, if Silence of the Lambs is considered a suspense, I w that would probably be the one that stands out the most. I like Pacific Heights with Michael Keaton, where he's the psycho fucking that was a good landlord. One. That was a good one. When the chick That's goes, old school, man. Hell when, yeah. When the chick goes out into the garage, is all in the fucking car, all chilling there and shit, dude. <laughs> yeah. That's bad shit. I'll go with that one, too. Me and my that one was watched bad. that when I was a little kid. I was like, oh, shit. She was, too. She was like, what the fuck? <laughs> uh, all right. Do you guys have a Blu-ray player? Yes, sir. What is your favorite Blu-ray film, and do you guys ever go on BD Live? I don't go on BD Live, and... Favorite Blu-ray films would be, fuck, uh, I don't know, man, because, like, it's weird. Old horror films, I don't like the way they look on Blu-ray, a lot of them. It kind of takes away a little bit of that grainy mystique that makes them cool in the first place. Mm -hmm. So maybe not anything old school, but just, I don't know, I buy random shit on Blu-ray. Like, I got Frozen, Trick or Treat, Dogma, I just got Hangover, I... I, I, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about I'm this. I'm starting to kind of look like Zach Galifianakis over here. <laughs> oh, shit. You let us love it. RBR short films, I'm good gonna question. Gonna die great so I can have Sean Connery look. He wants to start a MacBook uh, pitch for us, so you know what I would do if I were you? I would message that on our page, like on a video or something. See how many killers you can get behind you on that, man. See if you can make that happen for us. Again? <laughs> Again. <laughs> the Route 66 killer. 666 devil. <laughs> killer questions for that big black booty. Oh, shit. <laughs> Who is your favorite porn star? Mine is the hot as hell Tory Black. I have no idea. Oh, uh, God. All of them. All of them. They're just all great. I love every one of them. I'm glad that there's a father somewhere crying himself to sleep because his little girl's a porn star. I just love them all, dude. i got to be honest with you. But I do come from the old school. Now, I could say Jenna Jameson, but that's, you know, that's fucking cliche as fuck. And she looks like Michael Jackson now. Yes, yeah, she does. Judge from those posters we have at work. 
I'm like, what happened to the bad plastic surgery, man? Yeah, she does. Um, I don't know. There's a lot, man. Fuck. Was there ever a horror movie that scared you? Like a certain scene, I remember back when the first time I saw Nightmare on Elm Street, when I was five years old, that bathtub scene with Freddy's hand scared the shit out of me. I would not take a bath or a shower for five months. <laughs> and when my mom tried, I threw a fit. It scared me that bad. All of Halloween 1 scared the shit out of me that bad. Halloween 2 still cannot spend the night in the hospital, I man. Slept all on, because of Halloween 2. I slept under my bed for like a year or two because of Halloween 1. Well, scared the shit out of me. The whole movie. Like, that motherfucker ain't gonna get me. I'm sleeping under my bed. We all know the Hellraiser re-rape is happening. If you were in charge and had to do it, what would you do? Uh, well, I'd change it into a sequel of Hell World. That'd be the first thing I'd do. There you go. I'd try to get fired. Because <laughs> I don't want to do a re-rape, man. Yeah. All right. Who is the greatest horror heroine of all time? Nancy from the OG Nightmare. Lori from OG Halloween. Christy from Hellraiser. Alice from the first Friday the 13th. Lori. 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 Yeah. Nancy got whacked in the third film. Right. Alice got whacked in the second Christy just up and disappeared. Of course, Lori did get whacked in eight. Well, it took 20 years. It took 23 years, yeah. Yep. yeah. 23 years to whack her. Yeah, I'm going to go with Lori. It took 20 years for him to find her ass. I know. <laughs> and then another three after that to kill her. Yeah. Top three Cenobites. Chatterbox, CD, and... Uh, uh, Torch? Doc. Torch. No, not Torch. Doc. Well, that Doc's bad. Mine would be... Doc, Chatterer, no, Doc, Dr. Chenard, and Butterball. I keep forgetting about him as a Cenobite. Anyway. Butterball's the man. Butterball's badass. He's yeah. a bad, fat dude. If Pinhead came to you and wants to make you, wants to take you back to hell and make your suffering legendary, what would you do to get out of it? Whatever you needed. Find Christy, Christy Cotton for his ass. There you go. Be like, I'll offer you that. I'll let our make asses you a go. wicked ass trade, brother. <laughs> Pinhead versus Chrome Skull. Who wins? Um, I'd want Chrome Skull to win, I but I don't think he would want. I don't think he would win. The, uh, no. Because there's like ten on one. No, just Pinhead and just Chrome Skull. Now, if it was equal playing field, I'm giving it to Chrome Skull. Yeah. But if Pinhead has all of his magic and shit, and his chains and all his bullshit, it's mm -hmm. Pinhead. Pinhead versus Wishmaster, who would win? I'm going versus, with Pinhead again. Versus the Jin? Yeah, I think I'd go with Pinhead on that one. Al Bundy versus Fred Sanford. Oh, that's not even nice. I like them both too much. I do too. Sing along, you know the words. That's bad <laughs> shit. Love it. I'd go with Fred. They would just beat each other to death. <laughs> I, I, I would go with Fred, though, if I had to. Yeah. It's more nostalgic. I love Al Bundy, man, and nothing I do against too, him. I do too, but Fred, yeah, <clears throat> Fred's the shit. Plus, if, if Lamar saw, he'd come in and he'd probably smack Al with a tire. Yeah, and Bud ain't going to be a threat against Lamar. Fuck no, Lamar. Kelly's more of a threat yeah, against Lamar. Start hitting on Lamar. Yeah. I'd be like, oh shit, my daddy's a dick anyway, uh, yeah. shit. Always giving me shit, talking shit about my You know the other thing too? Uh, Peg would probably help Fred too. Yeah, she would. She'd see an opportunity. Yep. Alright, this next one's gross. Oh. back on me. This ain't even right right here. I know. Mae Young, China, the fabulous moolah. Marry, fuck, or kill. I kill them all. <laughs> me too. If I had to bone one, it'd be China, but then again, I don't want to follow anything x Pac's dirty ass has been in. I don't I'd just kill them all. Just kill them all. Alright. We have another jigsaw scenario. Hello, Jimmy and Zero. For years you have been watching these horror movies Getting pleasure out of people suffering and being murdered. Now it's your turn to feel the pain. In front of you is the one thing that you and Zero hold dearly in your life. Danielle Hayes. <laughs> <laughs> and she is chained to a car that will yank her limbs off in three minutes. The only way to get the keys to unlock the device is for Jamie to jump into a tank filled with 500 non-venomous snakes and 1,000 earthworms to retrieve the key to the bottom of the tank. The other key is located in your stomach, Zero. 
You will have to use an x-ray machine to shimmer down a fish line with a hook down your throat to get the key from your stomach. But be careful you don't bleed internally. Ha 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 ha. Let the games begin. You dick. No, I'm just kidding. Well, yeah, if he's got the key, he's, then he's jumping in the snakes again, then I'll just poop the key out later. That's what it says. There's a key to get her out in the bottom of a, a snake tank. But you don't get to poop it out. I know, because you're just going to go and jump into your... You're gonna I'm not jumping in the snake thing. They're not venomous. I don't care. They're not going to kill you. No, I don't care. I'm going to talk you in to jumping in to the tank for your boy, for Danielle. Just... Go down this garden of snakes. They don't even have teeth. Okay, let's put it this way. I found a new Deftone shirt at the mall the other day, uh -huh. and it had a rattlesnake head on it. Uh -huh. And I looked at it, and I put it up to my chest, and I got so creeped out, I almost vomited, and I threw the shirt on the rack. That's a rattlesnake. That motherfucker will kill you. But it was just a picture, though, so think of what it would be like even if there was non-venomous ones near me. Look, we got three minutes. <laughs> Two now. <laughs> Jump your monkey ass in them snakes. <laughs> Get that damn key, and let's go, and I'll poop the key out later. I'll buy you whatever you want. It'll be Danielle's money, but I'll buy you whatever you want. Okay, I could do that then. All right. I would, I would throw the earthworms all over the non-venomous snakes. There you go. Because there's a Distract thousand earthworms, yeah. earthworms and, and 500, 500 snakes. snakes. Right. So I just start throwing them at the snakes. Yeah. Or just think they're all worms. Just yeah. in your mind, think of them as worms, because they're, they're non-poisonous snakes. So they might as well be a fucking big worm. This is true. Big worm. Big perm. Big perm worm? Big, I don't give a damn. <laughs> what, could you shimmy the key out with the hook? No, because right when I start bringing it up, it's going to... Not necessarily. Oh, yeah. Not necessarily. Oh, yeah. Going down, no problem. Coming back up, it, no, it's not going to happen. It's like playing Operation with the metal thing only leaving you that much room to get the funny bone out. It's not going to happen. The hook is going to, trust me, I used to fish. That thing will catch and it'll kill me. Okay, I got a new scenario. All right. I save a few of those worms, and I make them into guts, and get all their guts out, and make you eat them, and then you'll just throw up the key, and then we're good to go. See? There you go. There you go. I, there you go. That way you ain't got to fuck around with no snakes. I'll throw up the key. Well, I'd stop to fuck with the snakes. Yeah, you still would. Yeah, but you wouldn't have to, like, swim in them. So, excellent scenario there, Bloody Machete. Now we'll get on to your killer questions, y'all. Oh, here we go. Tori Black, Jenna Jamison, Jenna Hayes, Mary Fucker Kill. Well, let's see. I'm going to take your word on the uh, Tory Black, so we're boning that. I'm going to marry Jenna Hayes, and we're going to kill Jenna Jamison because it's time to go. I think you would marry Jenna Jamison so you could divorce her because she's the highest paid woman in porn. And you would kill Jenna Hayes. Because once you had that money, you could get any other porn star you wanted, or even start this is your true. own porn company. This is true. With your new porn wife. Yeah. See how this could play out. Yeah. That's why you're my consignetti. <laughs> Where would you go in a Red Dawn two if there wasn't a remake? The, you can't have Red Dawn two, and you no. can't have a remake. Mm -mm. Red Dawn stands alone. Red Dawn is Red Dawn, baby. That's it. Robocop or Maniac? Maniac. I think he's meaning Maniac Cop. Well, Maybe he means Maniac. I don't know. Because if it's Robocop if, if it's Maniac, and Maniac Cop, then I'm still going with Maniac Cop. Or Maniac. Either one, Maniac. If it's Maniac Cop, I'm going Robocop. Robocop would fuck up Maniac Cop. Probably. <laughs> Murphy, bro, Murphy's the shit. Yeah. And Murphy's from Detroit, so. This is true. I gotta sh But if it's Maniac, we're going Joe Spinell all day. Alright. Because most Joe's brutal scene that is not from a horror movie. Rambo. Rambo. The fucking... With the the uh, last 50 cal scenes. <laughs> yep. Clarence Boddicker from Robocop or Paul Kersey from Death Wish. Death Wish. Death Wish. Did you hear that the Robocop remake, that he will be CGI'd? Ugh. Michael Myers versus Robocop. Michael Myers. Michael Myers. We'll be back. More killer questions for that ass.